Hey everybody, I'm Bubba and welcome back to my studio. Today, I'm going to teach you how to draw a moon character, okay? Grab a paper and something to draw with and let's get started. Okay, first we're going to draw a crescent moon, which is a half circle. So watch this, we're going to start from the top and we're going to come down like this and then we're going to stop, okay? Now we want to draw another line and shape that looks just like that, but we want to stop a couple times to add some details like a nose and a mouth. So watch really close. We're going to go a little bit and then we're going to stop because we want to add a nose right here, okay? So we're going to come out from the line and go out and back in just like that. And now watch, this is going to be a little tricky. We don't, we don't want to go too fast. We're gonna come down just a little bit and we're gonna stop. This is the upper lip of the mouth and we wanna come back in and we're gonna go up for a smile and stop and then come back down, and back in. And now we're gonna finish off from right here and go all the way down. Perfect. Okay, now that we have our big moon shape, we're gonna finish off with the details inside. So let's start with an eye right here and then we're going to do a second eye right here perfect I like to do little lines underneath like a little crease a wrinkle I think they're funny on my character and then we're going to do some eyebrows just like that and then fill in the eyes for pupils looking to the side that makes our drawing look a little more dynamic Let's give the moon shape some teeth, a little tongue. Let's draw a line right there and then fill this side in to give it a little bit more of a mouth. Okay, now let's give our moon character a few little craters around. So we'll add one right there, one up here on the top, and then maybe one more down at the bottom. When we're, when we're designing little details like this, it's really important for our design to do a big shape, a medium shape, and a small shape. This is an a, a important design principle that makes our designs look better. So draw a big one, a medium, and a small one. And now we can do little details around. Perfect. And there we have our moon character. Good job. Okay, before you go, Let's draw one more moon. We're gonna draw a full moon though. So this means we're gonna do one big circle shape. That's pretty easy, right? Perfect, just like that. Now that we have our big shape, that's all we need to do and we can fill in the details. So let's start with the eyes. Let's do some Bubba Grumpy eyes. Let's do one straight line and two rounded lines underneath. Let's do some creases, some lines underneath the eyes, and then fill in his pupils. Perfect, just like that. Now we have some grumpy eyes. Let's do a grumpy mouth underneath with a curved line on top, and then a straight line on bottom, and some creases for his mouth pulling down line under his chin. Now let's give this moon some grumpy teeth. Just like that. And then a tongue. Now let's put into practice what I taught you up here about the big, medium, and small design principle. Let's come over here and do a big moon crater. Like that. Now since we have our big one, we're going to try to draw a medium one. It needs to be maybe half the size or somewhere around there, we're gonna draw a medium circle shape. This is our medium. Now that we have a medium, let's draw a small shape. And we're gonna put that one over here. So we have our big, our medium, and our small. Now let's add just a couple little details around. And let's give this grumpy moon some hair. Just like that. And there we have a grumpy moon. Good job. You are such a good artist and I'm so proud of you for following along. 
Come back again next time and we'll draw again together. Bye! If you haven't yet, please support me by subscribing to my channel. Also, visit yaybubbadraws.com and sign up for my newsletter. There, you will be able to download free coloring books, hear about awesome art challenges, and win prizes. See you next time. Bye!